It's Classic Country 100.1 WGLC. Good morning. Joined on the phone right now by Assistant Fire Chief Nick Dingus of the Sublette Fire Department. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Charles. How are you today? Doing good. Now, Sublette Fire Department, of course, uh, one of the smaller fire departments in the area, but always looking for help. And you guys have an event coming up because, well, it's tough right now to find uh, brave men and women to put on the coats, right? Yeah, that's correct, Charles. Uh, So normally we do a pancake and sausage breakfast every third Sunday in March in conjunction with the Sublette uh, Farm Toy Show. And this year, uh, they're going to do the the toy show without having vendors on site due to some of the social distancing, and we're not going to have our normal pancake and sausage breakfast. One of the things we're finding is it's it's hard to recruit and retain volunteers in small communities. Uh, This is a national trend. Um, Matter of fact, the entire state of Illinois and the country is facing this crisis uh, right now. So we're just looking for more help. We're down to uh, 12 EMTs, and, and the folks that we have are phenomenal and do just an absolute great job. But we need more help on the EMS side, uh, and we'll take more help on the fire side as well. Don't get, don't get me wrong there, but our call, call volume has increased. Last year, we actually were over 200 calls. We put in about 1,300 hours of volunteer time on the EMS side, and we're just looking for help in both daytime and nighttime coverage. And you guys have uh, quite a bit of cooperation with other area neighboring departments, too. So it's it's not only just the sublet community you'd be helping. It's uh, obviously you guys spend a lot of time helping. You know, you'll help uh, Mendota and Pawpaw and Amboy and Dixon. And, of course, all the fire departments sort of help each other out on any sort of call imaginable. You guys stay awfully busy. And with that thin of a crew, uh, it does make it difficult for some of those guys to make every call, right? It is. And, you know, un, you know, pretty much it's it's industry wide that we're seeing small communities. Many of the jobs are located outside of those small towns. So during the day, it's hard to get, uh, you know, uh, an adequate number to staff both uh, an ambulance and a fire truck in some cases. Now, we've been blessed and somewhat to have cooperation with Boston Brothers Chevrolet for a lot of their folks to go and Woodhaven Lakes with some of the folks that are working out there. But that doesn't mean that they may not may be on vacation and we may, uh, you know, miss those folks. So we want to make sure that we, we uh, have strength in numbers. We, we believe in that and are just looking to strengthen our number here in Sublette. We've got 26 uh, dedicated volunteers right now, but we sure like to up that number in total strength to well over 30 by, uh, we hope, uh, by late spring. Now, do you have to have any special training before you show up to the fire department with uh, with a smile on your face, wanting to help out? I think the smile is the most, most important part, Charles, but uh, no, not really. We're willing uh, to put you through training, uh, whether it's on a first responder basis uh, for EMS or an EMT class, and we'll actually pay for that training. Uh, the same thing on the fire side. We'll put you through a basic uh, operations level training class, and, uh, and then you get paid per hour uh, for all the, the time and service. So Again, we're, we're looking for people that are willing to help, uh, you know, and want to be invested in, in our local community. Now, is there any particular prerequisite uh, for how well you can cook pancakes? Uh, that's always helpful, uh, but, uh, but not a prereq. We'll, we'll help teach that as well. <laughs> and uh, we're hoping that this is a fun event uh, next Sunday, the 21st. We're going to actually do some live demonstrations. Uh, we're going to cut a car apart. Uh, for, for the folks that are in attendance, we'll do some uh, hands-on EMS training as well and let them see, uh, see exactly what we do and then give some background on, uh, on the department and, and the membership that we have. That sounds amazing. Talking to Assistant Fire Chief Nick Dingus of the Sublette Fire Department, uh, asking for, well, volunteers in the community to help out the local first responders by becoming a first responder. Uh, The recruitment drive and open house is going to be Sunday, March 21st at 2 p.m. Nick, thank you, as always, for joining us this morning. You guys be safe out there. Thank you, Charles. We appreciate uh, all the support from uh, UNWGLC.